guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here on this channel we talk about law of attraction spiritual development and making you believe that all things are possible one step at a time hello 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 i am getting there i look you know i was able to put on a little bit of makeup today so feeling a little bit more fresh and like a human each day is getting better um i have um videos that i'm posting you know throughout this journey of my explant. So just if you guys want to be informed in any of that, then just head over to my channel and check those out. But today I'm going to be talking about going into 2021. So <laughs> we might be having a little bit of doubt, fear, you know, uncertainty about what the hell is going to happen. I know, well, from talks from, you know, family members that, you know, certain things are going on, certain things are, um, happening again um, so it can be scary um, but this is why I don't consume myself into the news at all because it just it's not gonna make a difference you know what I mean like feeding into all that drama and BS and chaos is just not gonna change me in this moment right now so that's why I don't really consume too much of that but yeah so <laughs> I know last year I made a video about 2020 and we all know how that went. Decade. We just left a decade and now we just entered into a new one and shit's gonna be good. <laughs> so for this video, I just wanna go over just some tips or some things that maybe you can do or look forward to doing coming into the new year of 2021. Now, the reason why I like making the videos of 2021 isn't because we're going into a new year it's more so the fact of everyone is just in this new hyped happy energy and um it's amazing and i think at that time um of going into the new year everyone is experiencing this so it's almost like a collective um feeling that we're all getting because you know we are one so when we are drowning ourselves in happiness that it's going to be a new year and we're just so happy about that and all the changes that can come i talk about this because you can have this emotion you can have this feeling all the time it's not just because a new year has happened time doesn't exist so us calculating when we can set a new goal or what have you is just it's just doesn't make sense to me because we have right now literally right now so if you can have that emotion and feeling then you can absolutely have it today in this time and moment with that being said let's just get into some of the things that you can do in 2021 just to i don't know make you feel different make you feel better maybe have some different habits some healthier habits so the first thing that i have written down is um get rid of shit like get rid of your shit, clean it out, refresh yourself, declutter, um, going into a new year and not just a new year. I mean, we just realigned, we just moved into the new age of Aquarius. Like the energy is just amazing. And you know what, going into that new earth, that new 5D um, energy, you don't want to bring clutter with you. And it's really important for us to just get rid of it because everything holds energy so anything that you have has energy attached to it and whatever situation that thing was around that's the energy that's attached to it so we'll just say for instance if you are going through a breakup or if you went through a breakup and you're keeping clothes and belongings that belong to that ex if that wasn't a good relationship that energy is connected to those items there are so many things that i had to get rid of that i i seriously did not want to get rid of um but I knew it was going to be best for me. Um, and it's just going to make the environment feel so much better. So do that. I mean, whether it's clothing, whether it's items, whether it's decluttering your junk drawer or just literally can be anything. Like for me, um, mine were boobs. I got rid of my implants. Um, I mean, they were making me sick, but it was ultimately a decision that I did want to have. and just for the journey that I'm on and just feeling your ultimate best, like that's what I wanted for myself. So I am really, really happy and grateful that I went through the sickness and everything to lead me up to this decision. Um, 
I'm feeling just amazing. I'm feeling so grateful. I know it's going to be a long journey. I know it's going to be a struggle, but I'm here for it. I'm ready. I'm ready to just get down deep into those insecurities and just, ugh, okay, enough about me. Anyways, uh, for number two, I have new hobby. So pick up something new. Pick up something that you've been wanting to do for so many years um, and maybe work or a relationship has caused you not to go towards that. I truly, truly, truly believe that we should always make ourselves happy. Now, I'm someone, I'm very empathetic and I, it, that goes into a lot of different things and I do a lot of things for other people. And that was just, you know, growing up, that's just what I was into. And then that's just what I wanted. And I didn't really get that from people. So I was struggling, always trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong so I can please other people. And really it's just those people. So ultimately, yes, we, we want to make ourselves happy. We want to feel that joy and happiness. And I don't think that we should ever be in situations that make us feel awful, make us feel extremely stressed out because I mean, that's just a health risk right there. So find something that you wanna do. And it could be as simple as picking up a pencil and drawing. You don't even have to leave the house. Um, like something that I started uh, right before winter is that I started skating. Um, I've been wanting rollerblades for, God, it's been years now and I finally got them. And you know what? I feel so fucking free when I'm, when I'm rollerblading. So, um, it's just little things, but little things add up and, and we owe it to ourselves. We're always working very hard. We're always just doing way too much for, um, other people and pleasing other people. And it's really time to just start pleasing ourselves. So in 2021, just start focusing on, um, really just dedicating your time and effort to making yourself happy. Um, and that can be as simple also as just putting on like a face mask at night. You know, you just feel refreshed. You feel really good. Um, go get your eyebrows waxed. You can, I don't know, just I don't, go play baseball or basketball at, you know, an indoor park. Anything. Literally, just go for it. For number three, I have don't be so serious. Um, we just go through life just like making it so damn hard and life is not hard guys it's really not like this is all an illusion like we're in the 3d but like it's an illusion okay and we need to start making our life like it's like a play like we can create anything we want we can um, speak it up into existence it can come back into reality like we can do so much with our life if you just be open-minded about that you'll start feeling the changes. You'll start feeling all that coming towards you. So for 2021, just don't be serious. Don't be that serious because that causes stress as well. And that's just another health risk and it's just not worth it. I like to have fun. I love laughing. I love smiling. I'm constantly, and I think it's just a habit now at this point, I'm always making myself laugh. I am always just thinking of funny things in my head when I'm out in public or just doing whatever. No one knows what the hell I'm doing. So, and I just start cracking up and I start laughing and it's just, it's such a good feeling to feel that. And now that I am feeling like I'm getting my health back, um, that's just gonna be so much better for me and you know, what's going on. But yeah, just you guys, just don't be so serious. It's really, it's really not that hard and we make it so hard because we are going into that people pleasing um mentality and who cares okay like you know i'm going into the fear of like oh my god what if someone doesn't like my flat chest oh my god blah, blah, blah. like suck it up okay that's who you are and someone is going to love you exactly for who you are and that, that you know and if not what i learned last year is that the love that I was able to access um, was the most incredible, blissful, peaceful, oh, just so good. And I did that on my own. I was able to just, just fully love myself and just surround myself with that energy. And you know what? That's better than someone doubting me or making fun of me or, you know, what have you. 
I have the power to be as confident as I want. I have the power to have as much fear as I want. It's my choice. So think of that for yourself and just know that you have that choice and um, we just don't have to take things that seriously. And for tip number four, of course I'm going to mention this, is I think everyone should journal and at least try meditating. Um, you do not have to sit down cross-legged with your eyes closed, oming to the up and above. Like, you can sit there with yourself with peaceful music on. You can, if you like to paint or draw, that's a form of meditation. Like, it's just bringing yourself to that present moment to allow the clutter in your head just disappear. So, um, I would recommend meditating in some form or way. Um, also looking at a candlelight, you can sit there with some nice peaceful music, get some, you know, if you hear, I'm sorry, I put crackers outside my window, so I have a lot of friends out there right now, so if you hear all that, that's that. But yeah, you can put a candle flame in front of you and you stare at that and watch the candle flame, it's just, oh, I love that too. Um, put on some music, put on some, um, like a diffuser with some nice smells and, you know, just really just try to focus on not overthinking. And I know that's hard to say because it's just, it's hard because I can have a million different topics going on at once. Um, but we need to learn how to shut that off just a little bit, you know, not, not anything crazy, baby steps only, but let's focus on, you know, just bringing ourselves to that present moment as much as we can. And um, journaling. So journaling, I just suggest that it's it just so healthy for you. Honestly, if you're not going to see a therapist, which is something that I don't do, but I'm not opposed to it. I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with um, going to a therapist. I think it's very healthy. Um, but if you're not doing it, I think it's, it, it's a good form of understanding on what's going on in your mind. Because once you start writing, you just go for it. And you realize that you start writing down things that you're like, oh, shit. Like, that's what I'm going through. And then you can kind of just figure out where you can go from there on any issues or problems that you may be having. Um, but it also just gets to know yourself better. Like, what do you like? You ask someone that question like, oh, what do you like to do? Or, oh, what are your strengths? Like, you know, for an interview. Um, and everyone freezes. Everyone freezes on that, um, that question. And I did so much Oh my god, there was like 17 birds that just flew away. <laughs> Ooh, I have a lot of friends over here. But yeah, so that was something that I went through a lot um, like a year and a half ago. And I had a friend at the time ask me these questions. And it, it, it frustrated me. I can't like right on the spot be like, oh, this is what I'm good at. This is what I love. This is what I enjoy doing. Like... I could not say that at all. Um, now to this day, I have so many things that I can talk about, um, but get to know yourself. Like really deep down, get to know yourself. Figure out everything that you want to work through and everything you want to achieve. Um, and journaling is such a good way to do that. You can do it at night, you can do it in the morning, you can do it two times a day. Sometimes I do that, usually it's just morning. Um, I think the morning time is very, important to do any of these things because it's it's the first part of the day where we structure our mind and our brain and what we want to accomplish that day that energy just surrounds us and then we take on that energy and that's the energy that we give off and it just makes a bad day a little bit easier because we ended up having that practice so keep that in mind so that was it for my tips for going into 2021 um, I hope they helped and I hope that maybe you can take them into consideration that maybe they can help your life a little bit um, or just, you know, just make you aware of things that maybe you want to do or haven't done. And I think it's important for us to stay happy as much as we can, especially going through hard times. But I know that we're all very strong and I know that we can get through it. So if this video resonated with you at all, please give it a thumbs up. It will help my channel. If you think anyone needed to hear this video, please share it. It's only gonna help me and my word and just have everyone just kind of jump on this collective train and really start honing in onto that positive mindset. 
Um, if there's anything you want to see or know, please leave it in the comments below. And until my next video, I hope you stay true and namaste. Bye.